in Pit Lane is proudly supported by the Mr. Boogeyman Bar, 160 Huddle Street, Abbotsford, Melbourne's home of live music. Joining us this week as our special guest is a young man who had a huge weekend at Sydney Motorsport Park last week, winning two races out of three and finishing second in the third in the Australian TCR series. He is Josh Bucken and Josh, welcome to In Pit Lane. Thank you very much for having me. Well, would it, would it be safe to say that that was probably you know, one, of, one of your, if not the best uh, weekends of motorsport you've ever had? Well, I've definitely had worse. That's for sure. Um, yeah, it, it would. It, it is by mile. Um, I've had some good wins uh, in some other categories, mainly at Bathurst. Um, but yeah, on the stage, it was against the competition and you know X, Y, Z. Yeah, that was definitely, uh, definitely top draw. Tell us about the weekend. I mean, obviously, you came off of a off of a pretty challenging weekend at Mount Panorama. I mean, what was it? The Hyundai's didn't seem to sort of you know really uh, really be suited to Mount Panorama. I mean, what was the change between between Bathurst and and Sydney Motorsport Park? Um, we we had twenty kilos taken off of us uh, because of our qualifying position at Bathurst, um, but. You know, even then, we didn't go very well at Bathurst, but that wasn't quite a true indication of how fast the car was. Obviously, Jordan Cox decided to spear into the grass in qualifying, and that red flagged the session, and we hadn't set a lap at that point. So, um, yeah, we obviously qualified at the back, and our car isn't the strongest in a straight line, so it was just hard to, uh, hard to pass. Uh, Timing-wise, in all the races, we were about the fifth quickest car, so we had good lap pace. Um, and hopefully, at the end of the year, if there's an endurance event, uh, a longer format will really suit our car there. But, yeah, we came into Sydney um, as, yeah, sort of under the radar, um, and that worked quite well for us. We were happy um, and then did the business. So it was it was great. So tell us about how you ended up with the drive. I mean, obviously, that was a very sought-after sought after drive after last year with Will Brown in the, in the championship. Um, how, did you end, how did you end up in the seat? Um, yeah, good question. So um, it was a very coveted drive. I think there was about a line of two or three hundred people after it. Um, so uh, long-winded story made short. Basically, I have a really good relationship with Hyundai uh, Australia um, and Rob Benson coming over from Hyundai Motorsport in Germany. Um, those two sort of intertwined and said, hey, we need to get you know, this kid in the car and um, we went and did a test and it was one of those things where, um, you know, the, the test went really well and it, I guess I gave them a reason not to put me, tried to give them a reason not to put me in the car, um, tested a few other people and, and I ended up uh, getting the tick of approval and um, yeah, first round in Tassie in the first race, we stumbled across the podium. So it was like, you know, good choice, fellas. And then a couple of tough rounds and then this. So I was actually just on the phone to Rob earlier and I said, uh, I'm very happy that happened. I sort of justified your decision. So um, that's basically how it came about. Um, and yeah, very, very uh, thankful to be there. How much pressure is on you when I mean when you're in that situation that you, you know that you've been chosen over a whole bunch of other people? How much pressure is on you to get in there and actually you know, live up to that expectation and the faith that they put in you? Yeah, a little bit, not not too much. I actually take that quite in my stride. I kind of like the whole diamonds are made under pressure thing. Um, but at the end of the day, I believe in my skill set as every driver should. Uh, and then particularly in, in TCR, there's not a single person in the field who, who isn't a pro in my uh, my eyes. So I trusted my skill set. I knew when the time came, uh, I'd be able to deliver. And it just turned out that four rounds deep at Sydney Motorsport Park, that was the, that was the time. So, yeah, there's a, there's a pressure. But um, look, we're in the pressure business. So uh, it, it comes with the territory. Of course, this year in TCR, we've seen the seen a number of you know, 
people from the so-called main game, from supercars coming in, Chaz Mostert, and of course Lee Holdsworth coming across. You've got people like Mike Caruso, who won the uh, the third race on the weekend with the past. How, how valuable do you think that is in terms of not just the experience you get, but also the recognition you get when you actually beat those people who are, you know, let's call you know, household names in Australian motorsport? Yeah, you're right. The, the names in the field really do um, help build our brand as well as, as the other drivers, you know, Jordan Cox, particularly um, myself, guys like um, Dylan O'Keefe, who, who are making their own name. But, um, you know, we're all, you know, trying to step out of their shadow and say, hey, we're pretty good at this too. So it does solidify the series a, a little bit more and build a bit of um, credibility to us as drivers. Well, what about the future of the category? I mean, you've got a, you've got a, a pretty good television package. I mean, free to wear. The thing about, you know, supercars at the moment is if you don't have Foxtel, um, the, 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 the series has become almost invisible. I mean, I was, I was out of the state at the time of the last round of supercars and I didn't even, I'd forgotten that it was even happening because there was no yeah, really. coverage anywhere. And then suddenly, but you know, you've got a really good package with the Australian racing, racing group at the moment. Oh, with Channel Seven, so how much easier does it make you? Does that make it to you know, to sell sponsorship to get out there and to say to people, "Hey, you know, flick on Seven Mate on on Saturday or Sunday," and and there we are. Yeah, it, it, it's a tremendous help, uh, and the Australian Racing Group have done uh, a, a, a mam- have put in a mammoth effort to put us where we are alongside Channel Seven and um, you know Super Cheap Auto. Uh, there's actually that many different um, you know people we have to thank uh, and big brands we have to mention that you sometimes forget is it seven two is it seven mate seven sports seven this <clears throat> um so yeah they sat us down at the first round in tasmania the arg did told us what they'd done um just so we had a bit of an idea of you know how much effort they're putting into us so that we then re- return the favor with you know not only just the driving standards or the entertainment but um you know, with, with our overall presentation off, off the track too. So, you know, with that being said, our team, at my customer racing, you come to our garage and it's about as slick as you can get for an operation. So, um, yeah, they, they've done a magnificent job and it's quite cool because you get out of the car and you've got 30 cameras in your face and you've got a TV crew and you've got people with microphones. And for someone like me, it's the first real insight into it. It's like, Hey, this is almost like, it's pretty serious. So, Thanks a lot for uh, for joining us. It was a, it was a great weekend, and the racing was terrific too. I, as I said, the, the great joy about TCR is you know in, in with variety is the spice of life, and you know every, every manufacturer pretty much in the world has a dog, potentially has a dog in that fight. We saw the the new Corolla GR released the other day, and uh, you have a look at that on the road, and you think you know that's a that's a TCR car, that's a TCR car for the road. So correct, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's 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 a category with a, with an awful lot of uh, lot of potential, both here and of course around the world. And uh, you're in an ideal situation now to to take advantage of that. So um, next round is at uh, Morgan Park, I believe. Yes, it is Morgan Park, uh, an excellent little venue up in Queensland. Um, it's almost like Queensland's, you know, Wakefield 2.0. Uh, the first half of it's quite tight and technical, really bumpy, and then the second half's really open and flowing. Um, it should suit our car. Uh, because TCR is that category where, you know, some cars do really suit some venues. Um, I'm going to be carrying a, a, a small group of um, baby rhinos in the passenger seat after after Sydney Motorsport Park with some weight penalty, which is okay. That's the category that the cards were going to be dealt. So uh, the car should suit it. I'll be a bit heavy, but um, look, coming off the back of a good weekend, um, just looking to score some more points. And as you mentioned about the championship, you know, it, it'll take care of itself uh, if we do okay. Okay, well, a fabulous weekend. Congratulations once again. Good luck for the rest of the season and, of course, for the rest of your career. But for now, Josh Bucken, thanks for joining us in Pit Lane. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. The show may be over, but the motorsport chat continues with Full Course Yellow, the In Pit Lane after party. We're on the In Pit Lane YouTube channel live most Thursday nights at 9 30 straight after in pit lane here on channel 31 so why not join us the next race of the australian supercars championship calendar is this weekend at the bend circuit in south australia it'll be a big weekend for dick johnson racing with both their drivers notching up major milestones 
2016 Bathurst winner Will Davison will equal Peter Brock on 212 career round starts, while race 11 on Sunday will mark Deeper Squally's 100th supercar race start. Obviously any time you're, you're alongside a name of Peter Brock, uh, statistically, with 212 round starts is, um, yeah, it's hard to get your head around really. I don't know, it still feels like yesterday I began in the sport. So obviously times have changed a little bit, formats have changed, but either way, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm pretty, pretty proud to still be uh, in this sport after so many years. Uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome to get 100 race starts and to do it at Shelby Power Racing. We're really cool. Um, into my fourth season now. I've never been really one to keep stats and you know track how many races done, but uh, yeah. To get that's awesome. Um, hopefully get a lot more under the belt into the future and uh, firstly try and get a good result on it. It'll be, it'll be special. We're keen to continue our momentum. Um, been feeling good ever since the start of the season and you know, pretty excited for this opportunity. Still feel like I'm uh, you know, at, at my best. So it's just a, a process bit by bit as a team. We're all uh, gelling and working really well together. The harmony and environment's you know, amazing in the team and uh, I think we're getting stronger all the time. So uh, Tasmania was, was really good uh, for both, both cars and uh, yeah, we're certainly looking to the bend to, to continue that progression. Yeah, it's, it's just a, cool, a very cool circuit, awesome facilities. Um, it's a very sort of Euro style fast circuit, which um, when you're doing a lap, a fast lap, it's really committed and it's heaps of fun. So uh, yeah, I've, I've had a pretty good pass there before. I've um, got a podium there the last two years, basically being behind the Shell V-Power Mustangs both times. Um, so yeah, it, it'd be cool being uh, in this car and, and have a crack. I love, love the bend. It's a great circuit. Um, the team's been very successful there as well. So, uh, yeah, obviously we're, we're quietly confident that we can, you know, we can really put in a big showing. Well, that's all we've got time for this week on In Pit Lane. I hope you'll join us once again next week. Now, to take us out this week, we have our band... Oz again. They were on stage with us last week at the Mr Boogeyman Bar for the tune up on Wednesday night. And if you haven't got down there yet, head down to the uh, head down to 160 Hoddle Street, Collingwood, around sort of 7:30, 8 o'clock, and uh, and check out the music down there. Live music, support local venues, support local music. After the uh, after the chaos that we've had over the last year, they really do. Uh, they really do deserve your support. But uh, you, I think you're going to really love this band. We we were we were just blown away by them when we heard them. They're absolutely sensational. This, the band, as I said, is called Ozagun, and they're going to take us out with their new single, Better Without You. So until we see you next week on In Pit Lane, from all of us here, we say thanks for joining us. Bye for now. And here's Ozagun with Better Without You. Good night.
Thank you.